Welcome to my second problem video. In this video, guys, I'm going to be uh, covering um, covering a problem that uh, is based on some of the theory that we learned so far. Uh, I'm going to not go too much detail into the theory, and I'm just going to go ahead and start solving the problem. So without further ado, let's go. So express the area and the perimeter of an equilateral triangle as a function of the triangle's side length x. Okay. So what is this question asking us? We have to express the uh, perimeter and the area of the triangle based on the side length x, okay? So we know right away that the side length is x. And we have another bit of information. We know that it's an equilateral triangle. So when it's an equilateral triangle, it means that all the sides have the same uh, length. Okay, so uh, how do we find the perimeter of a triangle? The perimeter of a triangle is the summation of its three sides. So if it had three sides, it would be the sum of this plus this plus this. So since we know it's an equilateral triangle, the, sum, uh, the perimeter is simply just P of X for perimeter is equal to three times x and that's it guys that's the uh equation uh that's the um that's the perimeter expressed as as the side length of uh, of the triangle okay so now let's do the same thing for the area of the triangle okay so the formula for the area of the triangle is a okay the formula for the area of the triangle is base times height divided by two, okay? And we know that the uh, side length is x, okay? So, we, and we also kind of know that the, uh, that the, uh, the, the base length is also x right because it's an equilateral triangle the base all the sides are equal okay so now we have to try to find the height of this triangle how do we find the height let me just draw the height of the triangle the height of the triangle is this part here okay notice that the height splits the base in two okay so this side this length is x divided by two and so is the other side. The length of that is x divided by 2. So how do, can we find this red line? How can we find the height? Well, we're going to use another formula called the Pythagorean uh, Pythagoras' formula or the Pythag Pythagorean theorem. Okay. So basically, it states that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Okay. And what are a, b, and c? Okay. Well, a, b, and c are the sides of a triangle that can be drawn like this okay um okay so what's special about this triangle it has to have a 90 degree angle okay and this length here is c this length here can be either b or a these two can interchange it doesn't really matter but the long part this part here uh, so it's called the hypotenuse is C okay so maybe this formula can help us solve this problem okay so we know C and we actually know B okay so we can solve this problem so let's write uh, let's write it like this okay so the height squared plus x over 2 squared is equal to x squared right because x is c the uh, the ba uh, the uh, b is x over 2 and the height is there and we can do this because the angle here is a 90 degree angle because the line is intersecting 
it right there. So this is a 90 degree angle. So well, so let's solve for height, okay? So in order to solve for height, we'll bring the x squared to the other side. So height squared is equal to x squared minus x to the x squared over 4, okay? So we could simplify this part here. So we could simplify it and say... Um, 4x squared over 4, let me, I don't know why I did that, 4x squared over 4 minus x squared over 4 is equal to h squared, okay? So what is this, guys? This is 3x squared over 4 okay and we'll square root it just so we get the value of the height okay so the value of the height is if we want to simplify it further is root 3 times x divided by 2 okay that's our height so now we found our height and we know our base is x and we just have to divide that by 2. So our area as a function of x, so let me use another color. Uh, let me use green. And I will uh, clean that up. So our area as a function of x is equal to uh, our base, which is x, times our height, which we just figured out is root 3 times x divided by 2 and all this divided by 2 okay and if we let's simplify that a little bit more and if we simplify it this is going to actually be x squared over 4 times the root 3. So that's our area, a of x, expressed as a function of x. Okay, so that's it, guys. So let's just circle our two answers. This is the area. And if we go up, if we go up, here, this part here is our perimeter. Okay, guys, so thank you for listening. Uh, that's the end of this video. Uh, uh, I'll catch you in the next one. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment below. Uh, thank you, guys.